Hey guys, this is Carl. Welcome to another episode of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in the pieces mentioned in the video, send me a message through the social media profiles. And if you want to see more photos, just click on the link beside the character's name. Everything will be in the description below as well. We have this Spider-Man that is ready to ship comes with a whooping seven head portraits and will also come with a headstand so you can display the extra switch out heads. Like I said, it is ready to ship so just hit me up if you are interested. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for the Spider-Man 2099 and honestly I think this is probably the best custom one around. The XM one is also pretty good so it just depends on you. However, this one doesn't take a lot of space to display since this is like a museum type statue in my opinion. Next is we have the companion piece to the Spider-Man before and we have this Venom. And like the Spider-Man before it, it comes with even more portraits at 8 head switch outs. The base is also stackable if you want to display him with less height. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for the Scream. This is a museum type statue and most likely will be the best Scream statue around. It comes with 3 portraits and even a nullified version. The prototype of this museum type juggernaut has been revealed and my oh my it looked amazing. One of the best juggernauts around for sure. If you are interested, just hit me up. Next, we have some slots left available for this Atrocitus, the leader of the Red Lanterns. This guy is actually already printed and we are just waiting for the prototype reveal. Definitely a pretty huge statue and a killer concept. Next, this God of Speed Flash Diorama is ready to ship. This is a pretty good diorama of a defeated Flash versus the God of Speed. Next is we have this recovery suit Superman. It will come with three portraits and there will be a hand switch out so you can display him with or without the guns. This is a line of a series of Supermans. There will be an Eradicator, a Cyborg, a Steel and other versions of Superman and all of them will be medium type. We have a prototype reveal for this King Shark, a very muscular King Shark. Definitely the King Shark that you want to add to your collection. Very cool concept, especially with the switch out arm with Aquaman's hand. That's definitely a very great addition for this statue. Although uh, this is a Batman villain. Anyway, scope looks fantastic. There's still slots available, so just hit me up if you are interested. We have a teaser for the prototype of this man bat and it looks amazing, better than the renders for sure. Give me goosebumps looking at it. Next, this Nightwing is set to ship soon as well. This is part of a Batman family line. They already did a red hood before and actually look pretty good. Probably the best one so far. Well, this Nightwing also the best one too. Next, we have more photos of the prototype of this retro Batman. This Batman has a very low edition size of just 25 pieces. Slots still available if you are interested.
We have a few slots left available for this black Superman. Comes with a DCEU Henry Cavill portrait and of course a comic uh, version portrait. The base do light up and the statue also will be shipping really soon. We have a full reveal for this Weapon X but the pre-order isn't open yet but most likely soon. Love the concept a lot and it's very fresh indeed. It's actually the first diorama of Weapon X and it's a great sculpt for sure. We have a few slots left available too for this blue red Superman. Comes with two portraits. Obviously this is highly inspired from the Prime 1 Superman Hush will be shipping soon as well, so just hit me up if you are interested. We have a prototype reveal for this museum type storm. Actually, it comes with two bases, so this is also a danger room base uh, storm i honestly think this is the best one yet and i am very interested in this one and it also comes in two colors to choose one for the suit for storm we have a full reveal for the renders of this weapon x comes with a lot of switch out four portraits two bases two torsos and did i mention it is sculpted by alejandro pereira next we have a prototype reveal for this wolverine non throne but it's only the yellow version for now there's also actually an x-force and a brown version of this throne statue anyway two of its portraits is actually sculpted by caleb nefzen and the rest by avi Ye. We have a full reveal for this monstrous Deodato Venom. Comes in two versions to choose from, which is black and blue. It comes with two portrait switchouts. One is a Deodato inspired portrait, and the other one is a Mac Gargan. With every Mr. Fantastic statue, is a Susan Storm that comes with it. Print for the Invisible Girl will be coming soon as well, but for now, just enjoy the renders. And yes, both Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Girl are coming from the same studio. This Mr. Fantastic just got printed and it looks fantastic. See what I did there? Anyway, slot still available for this one, so just hit me up if you are interested. This Dr. Octopus just got printed, very very low edition size on this one and it comes with two torso uh, switch outs and some head switch outs of course. Just hit me up if you are interested. Next pre-order is still open for this Logan on Tank statue. This one is sculpted by the great Caleb Nefsen. This statue is definitely going to be massive due to the size of the tank. Slot still available so hit me up if interested. And this one is actually also printed already and I can't wait for the prototype reveal for this statue. We have a full reveal for this symbiote transformation Spider-Man. This is sculpted by, of course, Caleb Nefzen and inspired from one of the arts of Alex Ross. Pre-order is open, so just hit me up if interested. The prototype has been revealed for this very sexy Emma Frost. She comes in two variants to choose from, which is the uh, black suit or the usual white suit Emma Frost. 
both equally beautiful and sexy of course, Titinon definitely did a great job on the prototype. Next is a teaser for an upcoming Del Auto Spider-Man and so far, it's looking really really good. We have another prototype reveal for a very beautiful X-Men statue and we have this Jean Grey or the green version and the Dark Phoenix or the red version. Paint came out amazing, kudos to Titinon. Next I'm selling pre-order for this magic. Yeah, it's the same studio as the ones before her, so sculpt is very consistent as you can see. Next is we have a prototype reveal for the Storm. Comes in two versions to choose from, the white or the black suit one. The white uh, version looks very angelic, while the black version one looks very badass. Nonetheless, very amazing statue for sure. I'm also selling a pre-order for this one, so just drop me a message if you are interested. We have a work in progress on the prototype of this green goblin. This is sculpted by Caleb Nevsen and here are more renders of this beauty. Next pre-order is open for this Del Otto inspired Spider-Man. Comes with two portraits and a spotlight. Yes, you heard that right. A spotlight which actually lights up. This is straight out inspired from one of Del Otto's art actually. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for the Samurai Wolverine. I think this is one of the better ones that came out uh, recently. Comes in two colored versions to choose from which is black and red. So just hit me up if you are interested. We have the prototype reveal of these Lara Fleas and it definitely did not disappoint. Gotta love those clear resins with the light up features. Next, we have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Alex Ross inspired Superman. Uh, this guy will come with two portrait switch outs and two sets of hands. Next, we have a full reveal on the prototype of this Eradicator, probably the only quarter scale Eradicator you'll see. Have lots of portrait switch outs, you can even choose to have the blacked out portraits. We got some updates on this Alex Ross inspired Superman and the renders has now finally have colors. Few things to note is that we will have a swappable chest logo for Superman an option for which base color we want, either the bronze type or the marble type. And yes, the belt is also now swappable. Next is we have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Aquaman. Believe it or not, this is actually in the first episode of World of Cosm Statues. You can actually check the thumbnail and it will be there. So finally, after three years or four, it's finally opened the pre-order. And this is sculpted by Angan Singh, so just let me know if you are interested. Next pre-order is open for this very beautiful Supergirl. And it's actually sculpted by my favorite female sculptor. Uh, he, he is not a female uh, sculptor, but all the female sculpts that he does looks pretty amazing and very beautiful, of course. Uh, this Supergirl will come in two scales, uh, one third and of course quarter scale. Next pre-order is open for this Jim Lee Superman. 
he will come in both scales of one third and one fourth scale so there's a lot of room for everybody for the superman he will also come with a heat vision portrait but the renders isn't available yet for that Next, we have a new version available or coming for this Doctor Doom on Throne. And of course, it's the white version or the God Doom version. Edition size will be very low on this one and it will be just a small run for the white version. Next, we have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Galactus on Throne. It's been a while already since the last Galactus on Throne. Hopefully, this will be a great replacement. Next is we have a full reveal and open pre-order for this very unique and fun looking Spider-Man. I think this is based from the Spider-Verse, I'm not sure. Anyway, this Spider-Man will have a regular version and an exclusive version. Obviously, the exclusive version will have a lot more switch outs, uh, more portraits and the backpack. Definitely love this Spider-Man, it's very unique and like I said, it looks very fun. Lastly is we have some teasers. First is this Caleb Nefzen Scorpion and I'm definitely looking forward for this one. Next is this King Daredevil. And lastly is another Venom by Caleb Nefzen. So that's it for this week's episode. Again, everything will be in the description below. If you like these weekly updates, consider subscribing to the channel. I upload updates every Sunday at 1pm PST time. So see you there.